Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Messing With Meats. Today we're just gonna do a simple chuck roast. I have that here in the butcher paper. Um, we're gonna give it a nice little trim before, but we don't wanna cut too much fat off because that, that fat's gonna help keep the piece of meat nice and moist. So we might as well get to it. I'm gonna get my handy black gloves. That way I don't have to wash my hands like a thousand times. And it keeps the meat safe, so it's a win-win. Oh yeah, it's a nice piece of meat there. So a chuck roast is, it's, a, it's an all right cut of meat. Um, it does have a lot of fat within it. You can see here that it's got some fat runs, but we're gonna we're gonna cut off some of the bigger pieces just because it's got enough fat within the meat here that um, it's not gonna get dry on you, which is a which is a good thing. So I'm just gonna give it a little trim. So with a chuck roast, I have done them um, where I've smoked them to like medium rare that I've done that way. Um, I've also smoked them until um, medium and then I've taken them out. I've cut it up into chunks and then thrown them back in and kind of done like a, a poor man's burn ends with them. Um, today, um, we have a couple friends coming over for dinner and I think I haven't really decided yet how I'm going to do this. So. Uh, we're gonna use today just to rub it down. Nothing, nothing too crazy. I am gonna use blue hog bold and beefy, which is like the greatest thing in the world. Put it on your eggs. Put it on everything. It's awesome. Um, I'm gonna get a little olive oil. Put it on there first. Put the rub on, and then we'll uh, put it in the smoker. So everybody, say hi to Curtis. We're getting ready to rub her down. Full oil. Julie got it for him for Christmas. Very nice. Hope you all can read that. So we're gonna run this at about 260, 270, pretty hot today. It's really cold, so I don't know how how well we'll uh, hold temperature, but I have a fancy new thermometer that I'm going to break out that will help us understand how hot this thing is running all the time. <laughs> it's been about probably three hours um, since we put this chuck roast on. It's got a little good color to it. It's getting close to about 120 degrees internal temperature, so we're going to let it keep going to about 160. Now we got it to 160. That was about four hours. So we're gonna now we're gonna trim it up, pull all the bones out, cut all the big pieces of fat off, get get the meatiest parts. You can leave some fat, obviously when we chuck when we chunk up the chuck roast, holy smokes, that's not easy to say. But as we chunk it up and we put it in the roasting pan that we're gonna put it in, um, that some of that fat's gonna be good. It's gonna melt or it's gonna just kinda get a little crunchy and there's not a whole lot better than beef fat. I mean, a lot of people will argue that, I understand. But personally, and if it just melts in your mouth, it's awesome. So once you have it all cut up into little bites, I added more bold and beefy, and here you can see I added a little white sugar. And then of course, we're gonna add some butter in there. Butter makes everything better. That's why it, 
it's one letter off from better, it's butter. So we throw those back in for about an hour, hour and a half at 250, 275 where it's been all day. And here's the end result. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Um, if you give it a try, go ahead and uh, send me a picture. I'd love to share that on Instagram. Thanks so much for watching. If you want to see more content, go ahead and check me out on Instagram at Messin' with Meats.